Atlantic bluefin tuna or Tinus tinus is considered as one of the most highly prized species in the seafood industry. They are native to the western and eastern Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea but extinct in the Black Sea. As you might already know, Atlantic bluefin tuna is one of the most lucrative commercial fisheries. But what makes people go crazy about this fish? Bluefin tuna is the largest species of tuna, with the highest weight ever recorded was close to 700 kg. The metallic blue and shimmering silver white on their body helps them to camouflage from the above. Caudal finlets are yellowish in colour and short pectoral fins are what distinguish them from other tuna species. One of the interesting features of this fish is their swimming ability. They are the sprinter swimmer and would migrate multi-thousand miles for spawning. To help them with that purpose, the head contains a pineal window which functions more like a navigation for them to swim across thousands of miles range. According to researchers, this organ has a light sensing mechanism which helps them to gather light information at dawn and dusk. In the world of sashimi cuisine, the bluefin tuna belly are labelled according to their fat content. Higher fat equals to best tasting and more expensive. There are three main cuts in tuna. Akami, the leanest meat with less fat, normally used in making sushi. Chutoro, the medium fatty which is usually found near the skin of the belly and Otoro, the fattiest which is the valuable cut from the tuna and the belly and falls apart in the mouth and melt away like a butter without chewing. This culinary pleasure is what makes Atlantic bluefin tuna the highly prized fish. In today's world, this craze over the expensive bluefin tuna meat has impacted their population in the wild. Labeled as endangered species in IIUCN list since 2009, has placed them as one of the watch list species. Consequently, studies on the cultivation of Atlantic bluefin tuna in captivity has been one of the important aspects to reduce the dependency on wild Atlantic bluefin tuna. Today, wild-caught Atlantic bluefin tuna are captured from the wild to be fattened in the farm for 2 months up to 3 years. In Japan, farm bluefin tuna has begun since 30 years ago. And in 2017, a Japanese company named Kyokuyo Feed sell their first batch of bluefin tuna farmed from eggs to mature fish and many other bluefin tuna farming facilities are still working around to reduce the larva mortalities problem. Over the time, there are debating issues over farming bluefin tuna culture. But for whatever reasons, let's hope our next generations will still be able to celebrate the wonders of Atlantic bluefin tuna out in the ocean. Do you like this story? If you do, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till then, thank you for watching and see you next time.